What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another vintage Q. Buh. We're just going to hop right into this bad boy because we got seven of eight up in this piece. And now we got eight of eight. Oh, look at these changes. We have Sky Sovereign, Aether Spellbomb, Gut. This card seems really good. Like, so much so that I'm probably going to take it and try to build around it. Also, I love Atali. I wish I could take an Atali. I wish I could do that, but they're just not going to let me. I can't do it. So we're just going to take Gut. We're going to try this new Gut. Goblin Shaman. Goblin and Shaman. And... What do we got here? Fury? That's a good second pick for a red card, huh? Urza Saga. Also very good. Gets us uh, some artifacts for gut. You can sack an artifact or a creature. I mean, I think it's just Fury. We also have Valky, which is pretty sweet. I'm not saying we have it as in like that's an option. It's in the cube now. It's a, he's been in my cube forever. I think it's a fine two drop for black. I also think it's just a sick bring to light target. Also, Jace Wilder of Mysteries was in my cube forever. I also had Laboratory Maniac and Thassa's Oracle, so there's a self mill theme. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take Fury. Hmm. Treachery, Counterspell, Mox Opal. I kind of like Mox Opal, assuming that we're going to try to get a bunch of little artifacts. Pyrokinesis is new, which is fascinating. Scrapwork Mutt's also fine. Cast him, loot, sack him with gut. This also says whenever you attack. So you could literally attack with a two drop after playing gut on turn three. Yeah, I'm going to take the Opal. I don't know if this is correct. I don't know what's going on. We're just going to... We're going to take the cards that are pretty powerful and hope that they work out for us and they, they they guide us through these difficult times. Third Path Iconoclast seems very good. It makes little guys. It works well with Mox Opal. It makes artifacts. Goblin Engineer, another consideration, just because it's a red guy that works with artifacts, but I think we're going to try this third path. Batter Skull. Snap. Molten Collapse. I think it's just Remand here. I don't think it's Proving Ground. I don't think we want to go black for Molten Collapse. I think we're satisfied with this. I think we're just taking Remand. You ever cast a remand? They, they tap like five mana to do something and you just remand it. Buddy. No greater feeling, you know? I did once. Yeah, it's it's quite a rush. We would also accept a reprieve if that's what you want to do. Here's the Doomsday. Look at this new Contagion art. It's very good. It's very satisfying art. Oh, what up, Badger? 64 months. Really <laughs> appreciate you. Oh, Carrie Zev is interesting. How does this trigger work? Whenever... She attacks... Okay, so I think you can stack it such that Ragavan comes in first... And then you can choose to sack Ragavan to make a 4-1. Let's find out. Bray's Apprentice, perfect. Or Pyrite Spellbomb, actually. Ooh, fascinating. I think Bray's Apprentice is a little bit better. It's a little more versatile. If that Aether Spellbomb comes back, I'll be very satisfied. If 
Roger, how you doing, buddy? I actually just like trumpeting Carnosaur as a big fat idiot. Um, Fire Blast also pretty good. Jeez. You guys said draft burn. I didn't think we were going to go gut true soul zealot burn. Oh my god. <laughs> is it Carnosaur, which is new and fun, or is it Thunder Blast? Fire Blast, rather. Okay, Fire Blast it is. Inferno Titan. You're a little bit pricey, but you're very good. Sky Sovereign is an artifact. I don't think we're sacrificing it to gut. It does trigger third path. I don't think it's better than Inferno Titan, though. I'm just taking Titan here. Uh, nothing in this pack will take Sunbaked Canyon. Pyrokinesis. Okay. Still triggers third path Iconoclast, another free spell. Okay. The Aether Spell Bomb did not come back. You can go, you can go. Two six mana spells that are free and a five mana spell that's free. Also, just starting with blue leaves you open for the uh, the good stuff, you know? The good goods. I mean, this is not terrible for 10 cards. I mean... Pyrokinesis is just worse than Fury, right? You're both exiling red cards. This deals four damage among creatures. This deals four damage among creatures and planeswalkers. Othari is a is a banger. This pack is not that great though. Are we that close? <laughs> Are we? Lotus Petal. Trinket Mage does get Mox Opal. Are we splashing red for an Othari? We could splash him off of Mox Opal. It's very good. I think it's worth Thank taking. You. Oh my god, Badger with the five gifted subs. You never, you never show up, and then you show up one side of the blue, and you're still gifting subs, man. I love you, buddy. Thank you. Paladin Yegan, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate both of you guys. I'm going to take Othari. I just think it's too strong. Um, I like Chandra. Thank you. Badger, thank you so much, buddy. I do appreciate you. Did I say Splash Red? You know what I meant. Thank you. Smuggler's Copter is pretty good. It triggers Third Path, which lets it automatically crew. It's an artifact from Oxopal. Let's take Smuggler's Copter here. Thank you. I I hope life is busy in a good way. With you going to Japan in two weeks, I can um, I, I imagine that's gonna be pretty hectic as well. I'm excited for you though. Thank I know you. that's probably your favorite thing, so Goldspan Dragon seems great here. I, I think I, I think I would actually love Rabbit Battery to come back. <laughs> uh, it's shockingly 
good in this deck, I think. But I'm not going to pass a gold span. And I am going to hope we get some some rampage. Flame Slash, pretty decent. Palantir is actually pretty good as well. Again, triggers third path. Works with Mox Opal. Thanks. Yeah, I'm taking Palantir. Solid card advantage. Works with the artifacts. Static Suicide. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Do we just take Urza here? We have no four drops. I think I think so. Thran Dynamo. Fascinating. Everfalling Chalice, Embereth Shield Breaker, Pile by Mana Value. I don't think it's Tezzeret. I think our five drop slot is looking pretty good now. I'm going to take Everflowing Chalice, I think. I mean, even if you play it for zero just to sack it with gut, seems pretty good. What's Japan's weather in the winter? Are they a snowy country? Japan gets some of the highest snowfall in the world? That I did not know. Brazen Outlaw, Experimental Synthesizer. I kind of like Synthesizer here. Never thought I'd see the day. Do we have other things to do with artifacts, though? That's the question. Not yet, but we can get there. I want to make sure we have efficient ways to, to turn on our Mox Opal. Triplicate Titan. I don't think Robber of the Rich is super compelling. I think I would rather have Triplicate Titan in case we luck into some flash trinket mage came back wow that's pretty good i don't know if i care about monastery swift spear that much i think i'd rather just get trinket mage it's gonna draw us a card we can yeah that seems fine we'll put this guy over here that is an incredibly late sneak attack i'm gonna take storm carved coast coast though because we have no fixing right now that feels weird but i mean we only have triplicate titan right now too so I'm trying to build a deck that's not a sneak deck, so let's see how that goes. Simply heaven, end of a Christmas time. Gut can sack what? I don't know what that was a reference to. Well, the rabbit battery came back, so that's pretty sweet. Never felt like I would care about rabbit battery before, but here we are. Oh, yes. Yeah, right, that's why. That was one of the reasons I took it. Oh, yeah. We were going to take Flame Slash, and I'm really glad it came back, because that's just good removal. I'll take escape. Sure, why not? Hunter's getting his his dental today for the first time in his life. He's like 14. Oh, Embrace Shieldbreaker coming back is great. Um, 
He got like eight teeth taken out. <laughs> uh, he's still he's still drugged, so Katie's sending me pictures of him and giving me updates. Um, I'm I don't know if I'm back to streaming full time. I am streaming regularly though. Let's say regularly, not full time. Tringer Mage can now get rabbit battery as well and experimental synthesizer, right? That's pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, dog dental work is really something, man. That is, it's like a whole process. Unlike people, they can't just sit there and get it done. They have to all go under anesthesia and like, oh, Hulbercher? Hmm. Well, that's fascinating. I mean, if we took um, sneak attack, like we'd definitely be lucking into an Emrakul right now. I, I can't, like, not take a, a Hull Breacher, though. That's just kind of too good. Oh, One Ring. That's fascinating. Guys, you ever draw a bunch of cards off the One Ring and then sack it with Gut? Because that sounds pretty cool. There's an Echo of Eons, too, and we just got a Hull Breacher? How can we put an Echo of Eons in the graveyard? I don't think we have a great way to do that. I think I'm just taking one ring here. It seems pretty good. Michael's good. Michael's at work right now. Just doing his job, you know. Mutual's birthday every day, you know? Manifold key. Fascinating. Psy also seems good. Misty Rainforest could be good if we can get a, uh, a searchable land. Manifold key. You are fascinating. Untapping the One Ring. Whenever you cast an artifact, create a 1-1. One, one. I think it's got to be Psy. Psy is the best engine piece we could ask for here, I think. I might put Othari in the side and just stick with two colors here. It seems a little bit greedy. If we can get, like, two more lands, maybe we're going in on it. Jetmere's Garden could be an option. Karn seems like a pretty good option here. It makes artifacts. Oh, what up, Big Shoe? Yeah, I'm just taking Karn. This is 23. Pretty satisfied with it. It looks pretty good. I think. Well, I thought it looked good before the Lelia, so... Surely it's better now. I mean, I'll still take any blue or, or, blue or red fixing. M stone. What's M stone? Might stone? Yeah, I guess. I'm not a big fan. I don't know, man. Like, every time I, I've i played it, it's either a five mana direct, uh, dismember or a five mana divination. And it's very, it's not super easy to utilize the mana that it gives you. Still no lands, huh? Okay, you're being real stingy. I'll just take I'll just take flame tongue. So I just saw this tweet. Ryan Gosling Ryan Gosling reportedly in talks to join the MCU in an unknown role. And I am very okay with it. Ah, oh, Mon White. Mon White. <laughs> Classic. Classic Mon White. Oh, 
Oh, uh, Kang with an H in there, huh? Uh, considering I am laid off still, no, no new watches. <laughs> uh, really hard to justify multiple thousand dollar purchases without a steady source of income. <sighs> new variant. <laughs> That was a solid recovery. <laughs> that was good. That was good. No new shark teeth either. It's still on my list, I assure you. Um, my daily watch is Thank you. an oyster perpetual. I'm gonna take the Sahili. Just an oyster perpetual 41 with a green face. Imperialist Games, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate you, buddy. Or we could take Bobble. That's just a free card. Sahili triggers things and makes tokens. I want to try the Sahili. <sighs> now we have 26 cards, and that's much worse than the 23 we had previously. Explore one is nice. I have not been following what we're drafting. I'm going to be honest, Badger. That that sounds pretty pretty standard, though. I don't think you're here for the magic. I think you're here for the the memes and the and the good times. Ember Cleave. Ember Cleave seems pretty good. I'm taking Inferno Titan out. I mean, are we at a point where we can just play... I would say we just play red, but like... Third Path Iconoclast... Like, Psy. There's so many cards that are just worth it. I'm here for the magic. A little. This is the new the new vintage cube. Mm, yeah. You got those Elvis, you know? I took a remand because this does not strike me as a deck where we're keeping up mana. Intuition came back. Burgi, Rada's Firebrand. I think I actually would like another two drop. We're not going to be domaining. I, maybe this guy's actually probably the better two drop, to be quite honest. <sighs> Let's take this Shallow Grave. Trigger Sigh. Is Bray's Apprentice? This is also an artifact, which is kind of nice. So Bray's Apprentice literally turns on Mox Opal by itself, which is kind of cool. Last few sets have been disappointing. Oh, that's sad. I have enjoyed Lost Caverns Vixlon and Wilds of Eldrain a good deal. I think they're both pretty good. This is 25 cards. We need two cuts. Mox Opal is definitely not a land. I wonder if Trinket Mage just doesn't make the cut. Like, just being able to get these is, like, fine, but not impressive. Maybe Flame Tongue we can board in. Yeah, Arc Trail comes back. Okay. I think I'm just getting old. I mean, that's definitely possible. Like, I know, like, I mean, interests change, you know? People, people evolve. It's normal. Uh, I think I take out Shieldbreaker for Remand. No, I like Shieldbreaker better. Only one fixing land. I am also burnt out on constant releases. It's why my primary focus is uh, Vintage Cube. Even my own Vintage Cube, I have a tough time updating fast enough. Like, every time I'm like, what cards from this set do I want? Before I can even finalize it, a new set is out. And I'm just like, okay, I, uh... <laughs> Can't I can't I can't keep up. I'm sorry. Like and that's like one of the main reasons I don't actually play standard is because I just I don't play it enough to justify like keeping up with the most current format with the with the fewest sets in it.
Sort of the meek came back. This is a late solitude. Wow. 13th pick solitude. That ain't right. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure Pioneer is not. No, I, I don't even think people complain about Pioneer all the time. This feels like our 23. I like having Arc Trail, Flame Tongue, Inferno Titan, and Pyrokinesis in the sideboard if we need them. Don't really mind cutting Trinket Mage. <laughs> I mean, Legacy is definitely. Legacy is fine. I like Legacy, but it's definitely. I, I definitely don't think it's the best format by any metric, really. Attendance, popularity, etc. Yeah, I, I mean, this does seem tough, but like. Like, we have Mox Opal, we have Stormcrop Coast. Like, I think it's probably fine. Like, getting two blue sources doesn't seem like it's going to be that difficult. We don't have any triple red cards, and we already want blue on, on turn two, so I really don't think it's that going to be... Like, if we were three colors, I'd be like, yeah, sure, but... I mean, playing, like... Seven Islands seems fine. So this guy's going over the two-drop slot... Uh, let's, let's change these to some of my favorites. Uh-huh. What's this guy? Okay. What's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. No. Yes. And this should be an Urza Saga. That's my favorite. Yeah, all right, cool. This swamp, we're going to make this portal swamp, which is one of my absolute... Actually, no, we're going to make it the other good swamp. That's my actual favorite swamp. But it's just, like, fairly expensive. Yeah, this one. Green, we're going to go with the Avon Invasion. And white, we're going to go with the Odyssey Classic. I uh, don't need a white. Yeah, 7-9 seems fine. Like, we only need double blue, or double red uh, on turn 5, so I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Yeah, that's my absolute favorite. My absolute favorite swamp. However, it's quite pricey. <laughs> I'm going to check the price right now. $42 each. So, once I get a job again, I'll spend 800 and pick up <laughs> pick up uh 20 of these. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. It's just such a good-looking swamp, man. Thanks, Mike Plug. It's just I'm I love the purple. Like in Magic Purple is a very black color. Like a lot of times in lieu of black since black doesn't show up well, they'll just use purple to represent black. Is Mike Plug a comic guy? Mike Plug is 83. Yeah, I guess he is an artist. I guess he's a comic artist. I will play first. 
I wish I had the 800 too. I mean, like, what are you gonna do, you know? As soon as Battlefield, excellent time credit layer until the end of turn you may play. Like, it's just, this is such a bad turn one play. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You wanna play it when you don't, uh, when you haven't made a land drop, you know? Uh, it really depends on the market. I don't know if this is a a seller's market in terms of kids right now. All right, so we'll do it. Fingers crossed. Yes. <laughs> yes. See, that was good. That was good value. Oh, are they taking two? No, don't like that. Oh, wow. They're doing everything. Vile Smasher. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> uh, I can't, I can't even imagine the next time I would be in Arkansas, Mitch. <laughs> I just have no current plans to Arkansas. So let's see if this is a good, if this is a good play. This guy cast this trigger, which turns it on. Do this, kill this guy. Cast, a, make another guy, that felt pretty good. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Smash your mocks. Wasteland with no non-basics. Satisfying. Currency converter, you got it. One. I'm just gonna block one here. I don't want to turn off my my Mox Opal. My Mopal, if you will. So one, two, three, four. Play Urza, we have one, two, three, we're one, no. If we play Dragon, attack, make a treasury. Can't do anything else with the treasure. Could also just play Fury. Hmm. Fascinating. This costs three to sacrifice. Astronauts lost track of tomato inside the ISS for eight months, but then found it this month. Thank goodness. Uh, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. Big Urza. Check it and see. Red. Oh, no, I should have tapped the stupid experimental synthesizer. That was, that was silly. I'm not sure if it's going to matter, but... You got it. Yeah, Colorado not being a bastion of conservatism is my favorite part. <laughs> California as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, fourth year Lingus? Palace Jailer? Until the end of your next turn. Okay, so they're basically just getting one. Oh dear, that's a that's a stack, dude. Is there anything we can do at the end of the turn? I don't think so. So if I go land, I can go one, two, three, four, five, play gold span. I think we're just furying these guys. Hmm. 
right? Might as well play a land, right? So we can do what? Four, five, six, seven, eight. They can't really make, they can make three guys with fourth year Lingus. Um, target artifact becomes a copy of another artifact or creature you control. We can make this a copy of Fury. Or we can make this a copy of Fury. Or we can make this a copy of Fury, right? Which is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Put them to four. And then they're dead to gold span next turn. Is there a is there a way we can is there a way we can win with like right now? Choose target artifact you control. Sure. Four, eight, two. And I think we're just keeping up mana for fourth year lingo, so we'll put them to like six here, I believe. Okay, put them to oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Put them to twelve, I guess. Uh, yep. So they basically need to play one card off of this, which is totally fine. It's got to be fourth year Lingus, right? Oh, it's going to be Palace Jellard. Nope, it is going to be fourth. Okay. Well. We did leave three guys back. I have a feeling they're not going to attack here. They did not. Um, so play Goldie. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five. We can actually spin Urza and see what happens. Uh, that's a 5-5, five five, though. Huh. Fascinating. Uh, shuffle. One. Two, three, four. Five. Oh, we overpaid? And we got an island? Okay. That's fine. <sighs> oh yeah, this is the end. They're digging. All right. All right. Flame Tongue Kavu actually seems pretty good here. So does Arc Trail. They do seem to be fairly creature based. Uh, take out Ember Cleave. What did Shieldbreaker hit? Mox Diamond? Yeah, that's not terrible. And they have Currency Converter. Yeah, that's fine. 
Synthesizer on turn one again. Huh. Five lands. I'm going to keep this because Synthesizer does make us a guy and technically draws us two. Well, so long, Hall Reacher. They're like, wow, now I know I have to worry about, like, nothing in your hand. It's true. It wasn't the best hand. It got worse after you... Yeah, I okayed me. I not okay. Oh. Discard Wasteland. To cast nothing. See if we can hit a land off the top. So lucky. Such a lucker. Sure, discard your little trolley troll. Blood Crypt. <clears throat> oh, they took two. They're basically dead. They'll never financially survive this. Ah, okie dokie. <laughs> Three lands and a balance. Seems good. Papa's okay with that. I mean, I will have to probably discard a bunch of cards, I guess. Yeah, heck yeah, I got Kool-Aid in my big metal mug. <laughs> it's, 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 called a, it's called a water bottle, Shoe Garner. It's just a water bottle. That's yeah, funny, they hit three lands off of Showdown and they didn't even play any of them. Fourth for one. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I can't activate that without being a sorcery, so. That's unfortunate. Sure. Choose a card in your hand. <laughs> Uh, they're going to lose their creature. I think I'm just keeping a land here. Sure. I am also the monarch. <laughs> They're not going to give me this, so I might as well deal them too, right? Great. It's interesting that, interesting that Urza Saga is an enchantment land that makes artifacts. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Oh, interesting. This guy on top. This is not going to do anything once they have a third guy, so put that on the bottom. Oh, 
Okay, they took eight. So there's seven rather. That's it's a thing. Hmm. Yep, seems good. Oh, you're getting rid of Palantir. I thought I'd get rid of this guy. Sure. Hmm. That guy doesn't even make an artifact when he comes into play. That's just sad. Feels like he should, you know? Yeah, this game is pretty much over. Oh, we'll land off the top. That'll do. Okay, so not ideal. I mean, that hand was pretty sus, so. I do like this hand, though. Turn to Legionnaire into Sahili into Palantir. Or Palantir first, but you're not going to draw off of it. Assuming they're always going to postpone the same number of draws, you're just kind of better off playing this first because you get an extra card out of it, whereas this you get an extra 1-1. One, one. Don't inquisition me, bro. Okay, they didn't. Oh, okay. Swamp cycle, get a blood crypt. That's all I get with my swamp cycler. Okay, comes into play tapped, A. Eh? Oh, that's fascinating. Let's do that same play we did last time. This makes this much better, though, because now we get to cast Mox Opal off of it. And it's online. Mox Opal online. Well, they're definitely reanimating that guy. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we can actually play Smuggy Buggy. That's much better than Looter Scooter, right? The Smuggy Buggy? Come on. Do we play Palantir or do we just keep Hullbreacher up? I think we're playing Palantir here. <clears throat> uh, let's put you on top and then you on top of that. If they want to pitch Flame Tongue, they can easily take four and that's totally fine. I mean, Woodfall Primus being reanimated is kind of obnoxious. We do have Smuggler's Copter, though. I guess they could kill that, though. But then we get to keep Palantir. Okay, they're just going to search for a reanimation. That seems good. Search for your reanimation. Okay, Mox Diamond. Okay. 
currency converter. That's it, huh? Fascinating. I was expecting different. What are you doing? You want both of these cards, huh? Target artifact you control becomes a copy of another artifact. So I can actually make this a Mox Opal. Hmm. Does it stay legendary? We don't want to do that. One, two, three, four, five. I wish I had a sixth mana. I would love to be able to play both of these, but I kind of feel like I just want to keep Hallbreacher up. Yeah, we'll loot because maybe we can get something better than Psy. Um, is that better? I don't think that is better. Sure. Yeah, why do I get the feeling they balanced and they're just gonna balance us next turn? Hmm. Well, shoot. I'm not even going to activate this because I'm not even going to cast Hall Breacher because if they do have, have they just not playing Glorybringer, they're just definitely balancing here. That's kind of a pain. Uh, bottom both of these. Took one from Flame Slash. Here we go. Wait, this is not a balance. Sneak attack. <laughs> okay. Well. Oh, God. What could it be? Is it Emrakul? Okay. Well, we're not dead. Oh, wow. That's actually great for us. Oh, my God. If they try to draw and we get to just go to Hull Breacher... Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, that's sad. Oh, ho, 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 my sir. Oh, you sweet summer child. <laughs> it is I who does the breaching. Oh, good gravy. So this is what it feels like? Hmm. Fascinating. Okay. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> oh, boy. I am the one who breaches. Actually, it's probably um, Breaches, who is the one that Breaches. You know, just saying. All right. Round dose, mi amigos. <laughs> that was good. That was a rhyme. You like a really little rhyme there? I'm going to mulligan this hand. I learned my lesson with the experimental synthesizer five land hand. Well, this is not that much better, but it's not terrible either. So, you know what? If they're playing a creature, a heavy creature deck, then we're in good shape, you know? Oh, 
Okay, I like that. What could possibly go wrong? You know what? I don't know. I'm here for a good time, not a long time, you know? Oh, look at that guy. What a little, what a little biscuit. Hmm. Under the sea. Hoping to hit a land. Then we can play Sahili into Flame Slash next turn. Just kidding. <laughs> Okie dokie. This guy gets plus one, plus one for one mana. What an absolute jabroni. Is it worth trading Brea's Apprentice for it, though? That's the question. I don't think so. I think we just flame slash it. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, one red, really? We're gonna one red this? Let me draw a gut and then we can see if this this carries have gut combo works. Perfect. Ember Cleave, eh? Hmm, is that good? No, not really. We're attacking with two. This costs four. We don't have four. Isn't that sad? Oh, wait, hold on. Interesting, now we have three. Hmm. We don't have two red, though, so it doesn't matter. Taking it all, huh? Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're not winning this game. So this deals four damage. This deals four damage. Uh, was this four damage? Okay. Hold on, I can bring in this guy. Wait, four damage? This is what? Four damage? Okay. So shield is a four four, I think. No, it's a 4-5. Oh, okay, so everything is useless. Got it. Got it. Just checking. Take out Shield Breaker. No, what? Don't add two lands. I've looked forward to eating soup for a long time, so I don't know what that says. 
I think Flame Tongue Kavu is probably still worth bringing in. It kills both of the creatures. Because one of the creatures that we saw, I guess. But it's still just like a... It's still a card, you know? Okay, we got that gut. Let me see that gut. All right. If I go to a sandwich place and they don't have soup, I'm just like, ugh. Like, if you don't have, like, a broccoli cheese or, like, a chicken dumpling, like, come on. Tomato bisque. Tomato bisque is my jam, dude. I would love to stop drawing five lands in my opening hand. Can we go to four? I'll even take three in the opener. Great. Never got to cast this gut. <laughs> yep, that would have been cool. Maybe next game. Oh, we'll go to Ragavan. Wonderful. Oh, great. Land. We're doing well. Do I just want to go to 16 lands? And then I'll draw two lands and just never hit a third land. So, you know. I got this Cobra Crimson Viper on my desk here. As a grown-ass man who grew up with G.I. Joe, I really appreciate these new classified figures that they have. Yeah, these are usually 25 each. But then they had two, two Crimson Vipers uh, for $10 each at Target, so I picked them both up yesterday. Cool, Shouldered. So just to be clear, Shouldered's basically impossible to deal with in the blue-red deck because nothing deals five damage. Got it. Carries Ev. Every single time they play Shouldered, we draw Carries Ev, so that's cool. <laughs> that's, that's, that's nice. Got some OA in the mail. What is OA? Oh, is the planet, is the, uh, isn't that where the, the guardian, the guardians of the Green Lantern Corps? <laughs> I like that it's original art and I like, I was supposed to know that. <laughs> Man, you don't know OA? Land. Yes. Great. Just great. You know, the only thing keeping us alive here is the fact that they have two cards. That's pretty much it. Right, but it, yeah, that's what they call it in the Facebook groups and Insta sales. If you're in those groups, when you're in like a general audience and there's no context for that, no one's going to know that it's called that. Like context matters, <laughs> you know, like... Okay, you got it. Some oniony apes, dude. Uh, when it comes to my apes, the oniony, the more oniony, the better. You know. Whatever, I'll just take whatever this guy's, whatever this guy's throwing at me. I mean, we've drawn seven lands, four spells this game, and they've drawn shouldered every game. So it's like I don't know. Sometimes it just draws, right? Like, sometimes... Draw your card. I don't even care. <laughs> this game is over. I'll take two. I'll go to ten. Oh, the one ring. Fascinating. More like the one yin ring, am I right? I mean, this feels more like 
I mean, they're, they're two completely different cubes, right? Like, like this is more like the regular vintage cube. I mean, they're both, they're both vintage cubes, right? Like they're not like, I think the difference between the normal MTGO vintage cube and the alpha frog cube and this vintage cube is probably the same, right? Like you could say like this one's 20% different. And then that one's 20% different. They're all probably 20% different from each other. I would say. Well, I might as well actually draw something here. That's how the ring works, right? You just draw that shit immediately. Okay, we're just getting out of here. Like, they have shouldered. We have the one ring. Like, that's never gonna... <laughs> it's never gonna be fun. Let's put it that way. I'm really tempted to go down to 16 lands in this deck. I don't buy enough original art... <laughs> to know that the um, the acronym is OA, like that it's regularly called that. Also, like, when you say it so casually, my first thought is not to go with original art. You know what I mean? Like, it's if it's something more, ca more commonplace, like, oh, I'm opening up this pack of cards, right? Like, something that you could buy for cheap, $3. Like, the odds of you randomly opening up original magic art right this second or not not even magic art comic art probably right this second seems so low that that's not a thought that would have crossed my mind like none of the none of the the indicators that it was comic art lined up right like we're not in a comic group it's not a super common term it's very it's very coincidental that you're opening it right now so Okay, this is a good hand. <whistles> Fingers crossed we can survive until turn three, right? If you can only sacrifice one mountain to fire blast, can you just deal two? Ren and six. Lovely. That's lovely. Uh, let's play Smugglies. So next up we can go Sahili, Mox Opal, make, make a guy, crew this. And then we're just living, living the dream, you know? Then we can play Alalia. I'm just going to keep getting my same windswept heath back. That's my favorite play pattern. I just crack the land and get the land. I crack the land and get the land. Crack it and get it. Yeah. Oh, Rafellos. Sigh. Very tempted to just kill Rafellos here. I guess we'll see what we draw. I like that Smuggler's Comfort doesn't have to connect, it just has to attack, you know? Oh, you're gonna you're gonna actually dismember. Ah, <sighs> fantastic. So if we Fire Blast, we just have nothing we can play next turn. Yeah, that seems pretty bad. All right. I'm laughing at the original opponent. <laughs> Magic Margaret, please see yourself out. Oh, good. 
Fantastic. You get a rabbit battery, which is fine. And a robber, which is also fine. Again, can't really deal with this guy, though, because we just don't have cards that deal with creatures that have toughness greater than five. Yeah. This is why I don't draft decks like this, because I feel like I don't... I'm not familiar enough with them, and I don't draft them well enough to actually be able to, like, win games with them. Like, if I was just sneaking or through the breaching Emrakul or Atali or something, like, I'd feel much better about this. Yeah, I just can't get by this guy. There's nothing I can do to get by this dude. Short of, like, playing Lelia, hoping they block, fire blasting it, and two for wanting myself. Like. And it has trample. <laughs> so it's like. Oh, God. I mean, this is why I would take a card like Treachery, because it just steals this guy, and then we don't have to deal with it anymore, and then we get to untap our lands and play hold on. Like, yeah, I don't know. I should have just taken that Treachery, I think. I saw so many cards in the draft that I'm like, man, those cards would have gotten me out of this situation. But now I have, like, Experimental Synthesizer. And it just feels underwhelming, I think. I mean, I honestly think it's Lelia than Fire Blast and like we four for one, our, four for four for like seven for one ourselves because they got two creatures off of it. Six for one. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, and then they get this guy. Yeah, it's like a six for one, I guess. <laughs> totally reasonable. I mean, we can play this guy and then play Synthesizer. Do we just ignore? If it costs one, we can cast it. <laughs> It is an Ember Cleave. That would have been nice. Actually, I don't even know if that's good in our deck. What is it? It gives our 1-1 one, one double strike? Like, I don't even know if that's good for us. Yeah, maybe like Ember Cleave is not even right for this deck. Which, I mean, again, that's on me, you know? Little Frankie's just figuring it all out, you know? <laughs> Flipping a tolly. My kingdom for a zealous conscripts, man. I guess I got a block with two creatures. Can I not block this guy? There we go. All right. Oh, boy. It's so really starting to feel like me killing that that Rafelos would have been correct, even though it put us in a really bad position. 
So now we're bringing an arc trail. Fire Blast just hasn't been good. Like again, this isn't this doesn't feel like a Fire Blast deck. This isn't a burn deck. It's more like a combo deck. Yep, cool. Okie dokie. Embercleave and Fire Blast are both coming out. We're going to bring in Flame Tongue and Arc Trail. I also like Pyrokinesis better than Fire Blast, but we do have Fury already. Isn't Fury just a better Pyrokinesis? They both deal four, divided any way you choose. You can both exile a red card to cast them. This is an instant, but this is also a creature and it can hit Planeswalkers. Like it's just, I'm trying to think of the metrics that like Pyrokinesis is better than Fury. And I think it's just that it's, um, what I did it. What did you do? Thank you for the resub. Appreciate you, but stop being weird. I will play first. I will mulligan. I will keep. If only there was a way to play Experimental Synthesizer before we draw a card, you know? I'm still going to play it second turn because we have no turn two play, so. <sighs> this is it. This is our moment to gut. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yes. Excellent. Um, let's play this, and if we hit a land, we can play the land. If we don't, we can still shield break their mocks. Well, that's a thing. It's okay, they only have four mana on turn two. That's not going to do anything, right? That's Brea's Apprentice. Oh, what up, Fritz? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, they have a lot of mana right now. Nine. They have nine total mana. Now, next turn, they're going to play a land. So that's going to be eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. And great. Wonderful. <sighs> okay. Hmm, boy. Oh, I guess this guy just dies to Ren and Six as well, so... Just all my creatures just die to run in six. Oh, good times. Yep, let's crew at least. Oh, 
Well, one, two is not how we were hoping to start our first new vintage cube draft, but here we are. Shut up and take my money. Stuart. Stemwort. Better to be a watchy itch issue now. Is, <laughs> who's Stemwort? Is that evil Stuart? Oh, a ring. <laughs> well, Stemwort, thank you. I appreciate you. It did say Stemwort, right? Okay, we're going to do this. Crew this. Stuart, thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Uh, attack Garrick with you. Attack this guy with my skeleton man. Gut seems like one of them QAnon. <laughs> Jesus. Um, do we want to draw a card? Yes. Which one's better? Which one's better? Wow, two four drops on top of my library, huh? <laughs> Jesus. Oh man. So they're definitely double blocking here, and we get to kill out kill out the beast. Uh, think it's I think it's Urza. Wait, they're just letting this happen. Really? That I did not expect. What? I mean, are they just killing us with merit lage? Are they gonna they're gonna be like bitter reunion? Okay, they got thespian stage. Barboyo Grazer, sure. Great. They're like, where we're going, we don't need planeswalkers. How do I deal with a merit leash? Not with that. That ain't it. This guy's very, very good. I, I feel like it's... Our deck did not do him justice, but... Making a 4-1 with Menace every single turn seems really aggressive. They're just taking 8 here. Fascinating. I mean, they have to have an answer for the Smuggler's Copter, I guess. They have no cards in hand, though. They did not, in fact, keep the wrong one. Yep, that's fine. All right. Well, here goes nothing. You ever wish you had that one ring? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> easy choice. Arc Trail. Do you do anything? Two to the face. One to the Rafelos. That means they can block one guy. Yeah, I think that's game. Choose first target. Deal two. Deal one. We'll sack the Urza. That means we have three skeletons. They can only block one of them. Manasio. Yep. Oh, yeah, they oh, then they take eight. <laughs> okay. I was like, no. Yes, correct. Skeletons. Do your do your do your duties. Whew. All right. Well, we got a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. Do we have anything that's even good against them? Like, Remand seems almost fine now. <sighs> I mean, I kind of like Pyrokinesis because it can get rid of one of their three toughness creatures and Rafelos. Can there be a game where they don't get Rafelos? Pyrokinesis doesn't hit Planeswalkers, though, right? No, it's just creatures. Yeah, I'm just going to play Remand. And there it is. There's your boy. This hand actually seems pretty decent. Like, if we can remand their turn two play into a Sahili and then one of these guys, it seems good. I will keep. I mean, if they go land Mox or Fellows again, it's like, okay. That's also pretty good. I would love that if they have a Rafelos. Interesting. What? That's, that's fascinating. That's extremely good for us. Okay. Just giving us a, a turn to breathe and like set up and, and not have to worry about. This deck just needed a ring, Black Lotus, Ragavan, Mox, Ruby, Mox, Sapphire, and Zell's Conscripts. I agree. That really would have put it over the top. I'm just remanding this because next turn we're going to do some things. I wish Flame Tongue Kavu could hit Planeswalkers. Just make a new Flame Tongue Kavu that deals four to a creature or a Planeswalker. It's funny because, like, that, that creature doesn't exist because Flame Tongue Kavu is still played. Oh, they didn't replay. Fascinating. Oh, I think they're just going to kill us. They're probably just going to crop rotation, right? No, they're going to crop rotation, get Thespian Stage, and then activate it at the end of the turn. So we're actually dead here. So that kind of sucks. Well, this is the only thing we can do. Yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so it's like your opponent seems to be on garbage. Now our opponent just wins the game. Yep. Cool. <laughs> absolutely never fails thanks for watching slam the buttons do the things i'll see you next time